Hello, crafty friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm Adrienne Bosey of Alice Scraps Wonderland. Today, we're celebrating the release of the From the North Pole collection designed by the Three Girls Tale, and I just wanted to share some of the beautiful elements in this collection before jumping into my mixed media tutorial. This collection features some classic Christmas colors and elements perfect for cards, mixed media projects, and more. Let's get into the tutorial. I start by tracing out a 12 inch round wooden panel onto the 12 inch music paper from the collection. I cut the trace circle out and then distress the edges with a distressing tool. To adhere the paper onto the wood, I lay down some Finnevere soft matte gel onto the wood with a silicone brush. I then line up the paper and press it into place and smooth out any wrinkles by running a brayer over the entire surface. I want to get started on some of the molds as these particular ones need to dry between the layers. I'm using the redesigned Holly Jolly Holidays mold. Before my molds fully set, I cut the sprig of holly in half, creating two smaller pieces. I'm using a dark green watercolor from Art Philosophy's Essence palette to color the leaves on the holly after misting the molds with water. After letting that first layer of green dry, I go back in and add more of the color to deepen some of the leaves. Before I can color the berries, the green needs to dry completely, so I move on to painting the redesigned Wonder Gems molds with Finn's Impasto paint in linen. If your paint is starting to thicken up like mine, add a small spritz of water to help the color move more easily over the mold. Once the green watercolor is dry on the holly molds, I add a bright red from the Art Philosophy Pastel Dreams palette, then set this aside to air dry some more. I'm going to add one of the postcards from the postcard kit in this collection, and I want to decorate it with a rub-on transfer. I cut out the From Santa rub-on and apply it to the postcard. I decided to add a little texture to the background paper, so I pulled out the Theater Night stencil and applied a little bit of modeling paste through it. While the modeling paste set, 
I returned to the Wonder Gems ornament molds and rubbed some of the vintage gold wax on the highlights to bring out the texture and dimension. Now that the holly molds are dry, it's time to make them a little more shabby and vintage. So I dry brushed some white gesso over the highlights. Keep in mind that the wet gesso will reactivate the watercolors. So use a different brush to pull gesso out of the pot and put it on your work surface. Then dip the brush you use to apply gesso to the molds into the gesso on your craft mat. I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to add a little more decoration to this postcard. I added a sticker from the collection sticker roll onto the postcard. You'll see this product make another appearance again later in the tutorial. Now to the part I love the most, assembling the project and adding all of the beautiful Prima flowers. I begin by dry fitting the ornament molds. I'm using several layers of cardboard to pop up two of the molds so I can layer them over one another. I've also added some burgundy velvet trim to the two molds I'm popping up. I also like to dry fit a lot of my flowers and other larger elements before gluing things down. I find that this really helps me create more beautiful projects, plus I'm kind of a planner. Once I'm happy with the placement of the main elements, I begin to glue things down. I use hot glue to adhere the layers of cardboard together. Then I glue the cardboard to the ornaments and the ornaments to the background. For the two ornaments that aren't popped up, I use a little heavy body gel to glue them in place. Then I start gluing down elements on the right side of the project. I adhere one of the cream fabric flowers and the holly mold that helps support the postcard first, using hot glue to attach them. Then I glue the postcard in place. I decided it needed a little more support, so I tucked some layers of cardboard under it to hold it up better. I tear the leaf off of this bright red flower, but only because I want to change the orientation of it. This flower is a little smushed on one side and I'm using it to my advantage, pressing it right up against the popped up ornament mold. Then I dry fit those flowers back in a bit to make sure I have the right placement of these elements. It's a good thing I caught this on camera because I glued many of these embellishments down while not realizing my camera was full and no longer recording. But the way I do glue things down is much the same as on the other side, which you'll see a little later. And just like on the left side, I use several different adhesives. I generally use hot glue for embellishments that support other embellishments to keep things sturdy as I work.
and here I'm back to gluing things down on camera. I fussy cut some of the elements from the 12 by 12 paper pack and I'm tucking these into the embellishment clusters. I curl the ends of this larger fussy cut piece after having added some foam adhesive to the back. I add hot glue to the foam and press it onto one of the ornament molds. Then I tuck in one of the cream flowers using some heavy body gel. Next, I tuck in some of the smaller flowers around the embellishment cluster on the right side. I'm adding some more detail to the postcard by layering on a fussy cut poinsettia and a gift from the ephemera icon pack in the collection, and I use foam adhesive to attach them. You can see I'm also dry fitting this little cardinal ephemera. You'll see him make an appearance throughout, but I save him until the end to glue him on. Then I use the same techniques to create the embellishment cluster on the left side of this project. I'll just let this play out for a bit and you can enjoy the process. I want to tuck in some of the floral ephemera to add more texture to this piece. If the ephemera is getting stuck down to paper, I use liquid or foam adhesive. When I'm layering it over flowers, it gets attached to the project with hot glue. Then for a soft touch, I tuck in some drops of lace on either side of the project using hot glue. I'm back to adding more stickers now that the flowers are in place. I apply these to the background and a few more to the postcard just to fill in some of the spots a bit more. Because this is a Christmas project, I apply some of Finn's snowflake paste all over the project. This adds a lovely snowy and glittery texture wherever you apply it.
and I couldn't help myself. I felt the urge to add a little glitter, so I applied a touch of soft matte gel to a few of the red flowers and sprinkled on some glitter from the crimson set. Then I glued some memory hardware pearls to the flowers. This project seems very Victorian to me, and for some reason I think all Victorians loved pearls, so I thought this was a nice touch. I finally glue that little cardinal ephemera in place using foam adhesive and hot glue. He looks so cute on that flower. All that is left are some chipboard stickers and of course crystals. I add two of the chipboard sentiment stickers using foam adhesive and hot glue to pop them up. Then I apply a bunch of the crystals because these are just too pretty not to. And that's it for this Christmas mixed media panel using the new From the North Pole collection. I hope it inspires you to create something magical for this upcoming holiday season. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy crafting.